Good morning to one and all. Myself, uh, Gayatri, working as an assistant professor in civil engineering department. Today, I am going to discuss about open channel flow. What is open channel? Open channel is a passage which conveys water from one place to other place by atmospheric pressure due to gravitational forces. Before going to open channel flow, we will see what is fluid. Fluid is a substance which is capable of flowing from one place to other place. And fluid also divided as two types. One is ideal fluid, other one is real fluid. What is ideal fluid? Ideal fluid is nothing but which consists uh, no viscosity, no surface tension and all. In the same way, what is real fluid? Real fluid is nothing but naturally available in nature. The fluid which is naturally available in nature, that fluid is called as real fluid. This is about fluid. Coming to open channel flow. Open channel flow is a passage which flows due to the gravitational force with atmospheric pressure. Open channels are classified as two types. According classified as two types. One is according to formation, according to formation of channel, formation of channel and second one is according to the shape of channel, according to the shape of channel. These two are the classification of open channel. Coming to according to formation of channel, again it is divided into two types. One is natural natural channel and another one is artificial channel. According to formation of the channel, there are two types. One is natural channel and other one is artificial channel. Coming to natural channel, natural channel formed naturally for example streams rivers etc coming to artificial channel which are made by humans for various purpose like uh, irrigation purpose drinking water purpose etc canals and sewage plant supply pipes etc are the artificial channels and natural channels formed naturally on the nature that is streams, rivers etc. Artificial channels are made by human being due to for the purpose, many purposes. Canals, uh, sludge, sub, uh, sewage supply, etc., are the artificial channels. And according to shape of the channel, according to shape of the channel, according to shape of the channel, it is divided into two types. One is prismatic channel and other one is non-prismatic channel. Prismatic channel, non-prismatic channel. What is prismatic channel? Prismatic channel is nothing but which consists of regular shape, size, slope, and other dimensions. Coming to non-prismatic channel, it should not consist any regular shape and size. And prismatic channels are man-made 
channels non prismatic channels are are uh, natural channels examples for prismatic channels canals sewage treatment sewage pipes etc which are constructed by man non prismatic channels which is no dimensions proper dimensions examples for non prismatic channels are again streams lakes etc prismatic channel consists of regular shapes this prismatic channels again divided into four types prismatic channel divided into four types due to shape irregular shape size and dimensions one is rectangular and another one is circular channel and trapezoidal channel the length the breadth the depth etc non prismatic channel does not consist any proper dimensions coming to flow of fluids types of fluids now we discussed about types of channels now we will discuss about types of flow of channels types of flow of channel flow like we can write as types of channel flow types of channel flow flow types we have mainly consist steady steady flow and unsteady flow unsteady flow and uniform uniform flow and non uniform flow non uniform flow laminar flow laminar flow and turbulent flow turbulent flow and one more flow that is critical critical sub critical sub critical and super critical flow super critical flow these are the four different types of flows flow in the different channels we will discuss about one by one in this session what is steady flow and unsteady flow steady flow is nothing but steady flow steady flow the velocity and cross sectional measurements measurements will remain constant over a length of span then that flow is known as steady flow for example if we consider a flow flowing in a channel if we consider two sections with some length l l at section 1 if velocity is v1 at section 2 velocity is v2 then if we consider section 1 velocity as uh, equals to 0.7 in the same way if we consider at section 
velocity should not change and depth of the flow also should not change it means if we consider a length of a channel for two sections it should contains it should maintain same velocity and cross sectional measurements with respect to time then the flow is known as steady flow it opposite to unsteady flow unsteady flow what is unsteady flow means the dimensions and velocity of flow will remain not constant through with respect to time then that flow is known as unsteady flow what is a uh, uniform flow and non uniform flow uniform flow non uniform flow uniform flow and non uniform flow uniform flow means with subjected to time the properties of flow properties of flow will not change with time will not change with time for example do v by do t is equal to same at one section and do v by do t is equal to at two section there will be no change in properties of flow throughout the channel with respect to time means the flow having constant velocity constant depth and constant dimensions then that is called as uniform flow with a proper manner it will flows throughout the channel uh, uh, coming to non uniform flow it vice versa to uniform flow means it will flow irregular shapes irregular sizes irregular velocity and other with respect to do time coming to laminar flow and turbulent flow what is laminar flow laminar flow to measure the laminar flow we will use reynolds number it is denoted with re reynolds number is used to measure the laminar and turbulent flow turbulent flows reynolds number is a measurement of laminar and turbulent flow if reynolds number is greater than 500 then the flow is called as laminar flow laminar flow if reynolds number re is less than 2000 then the flow is called as turbulent flow reynolds number will divide the laminar flow and turbulent flow if reynolds number is greater than 500 then that flow is laminar flow if reynolds number is less than 2000 then that flow is considered as turbulent flow this reynolds number is nothing but uh, the ratio of ratio of inertia forces to inertia forces to viscous force viscous force reynolds number is can be derived by with this ratio inertia forces to viscous forces with this ratio we will get re number with that re number we will divide the laminar flow and turbulent flow in open channel flows coming to next flow type one is critical critical subcritical super critical sub critical super critical and critical flow what is critical flow means when the 
Reynolds number R E is equals to one. That flow is known as critical in open channels flow. When the subcritical flow is when the Reynolds number less than one, then that flow is known as subcritical. Supercritical means Reynolds number greater than one. This Reynolds number also measures the critical flow, subcritical flow, and supercritical flow. Based on the Reynolds number, we will divide laminar and turbulent flow. In the same way, we will divide critical, subcritical, supercritical flow. These are the types of the channel flows. We learned about types of channels, and we learned about types of channel flows. And coming to next topic. we have again two types of flows one is rapidly varied flow and another one is gradually varied flow gradually varied flow what is rapidly varied flow and gradually varied flow means suppose If we consider a channel flowing with water fully, when abstractal abstractal comes in with the water flow, the flow will change its direction and suddenly drops again. It try to comes to its original position. When the flow comes from the earth, drop directly at lower level then that the flow is called as rapidly rapidly varied flow rapidly means suddenly it is happening suddenly flow is flowing like this suddenly it will change its direction and again it will goes to its original position in the same way when water flowing like this when water flowing in a channel slowly at certain point it will try to change its direction and slowly it will comes down not rapidly slowly it will change its direction then that flow is known as gradually varied flow gradually means it is changing its direction slowly not suddenly then that flow is known as gradually varied flow this is about our uh, class uh, open channel flow what are the types of flows and what are the channels